Okay, so I ordered a few shirts and I was so excited, especially I got this shirt. I was so excited because it reminds me teaching vacation Bible school and Sunday school kids back in the day in, in the 90s and 2000s. And, you know, I love this theme that I have on my shirt and I was just so excited. And, you know, I, I bought a few shirts and, and, you know, I was excited, you know, just not so, you know, not distracting, okay? I get it, I'm trying it on. Don't judge me, I didn't know. Look how big. Wow, I mean, I'm from Texas, but I was thinking about a little bit print. You could barely see, like, what is she wearing? <laughs> if I have my army, my camouflage on, or any type on, you know who I'm going to be talking to, especially the body of Christ. You're in the church or not in the church. But I'm going to do, I'm going to look at you a little closer. If you are a church leader or a Christian leader, that's a little bit for you. Focus. What's the deal with the clicks? You know, I've been in the church scene. Listen, I taught Sunday school for over a decade, children, BBS, wrote it, taught it, directed it, was, a, you know, you know, I'm a minister. I mean, I've been, you know, treats, wrote the stuff, you know, and did all this stuff. And I learned there are clicks. There are clicks everywhere. You probably have it at work. Uh, relatives, mm -hmm. uh, churches, okay, I'm sorry. I mean, churches, I love churches if they're on target, okay? But sometimes, you know, uh, the churches, there's been some churches I've been to that have cliques. And, oh, oh, well, we're not going to talk to that person because, you know, she can see spiritual stuff. Or, you know, or we're not going to talk because, you know, or such and such hasn't been to church every Sunday, so we're going to keep her out. Or, oh, they didn't go to all the meetings so, therefore, they can't be in the 12 Club. Does this sound familiar? Now, next question. Do you think God likes that? Does that represent God? I don't care what your background is. You are God's family. You have Jesus. I mean, we're family. And you don't just clicks oh I'm not gonna put that person I'm no that one can't be in my Bible study mm -hmm. I'm doing this because it's their soul it's their soul unless they're listening I mean they're listening to their the negative thoughts you know or the you know the, the brain they got to renew the mind it's okay everyone's equal God loves everyone what's with that you're gonna teach the word and then you're gonna be mean to people you know how many people I I, I hate God helped I stopped saying the help <laughs> helped. God did it. I coached it. And there's so many people that came to me over the decades and I've been in the church scene for a long time, for for many years, and there were clicks. And, and when they come over to my house or when I'm flying and they're like, Oh, you know, they they don't da, 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 da. and I and I'm like, oh, these church leaders Christian leaders, pastors, priests, I don't care who you are, you have Jesus, no clicks. No clicks. Now, if they're really toxic and they're bullying you and this and that, and you gotta set some boundaries, I get it. But this but you clicks, that's like junior high, that's like junior high, high school, maybe elementary. We gotta grow up. Army. God, you're in God's army. You got Jesus. You're in God's army. And I'm talking to you. No one else is telling you this? Is the Holy Spirit been telling you some things? I'm talking to a few of you. Yes, I am. Clicks? You're going to make me other people feel bad because you have these expectations and have these man-made laws? I'm enough with that. I grew up with that. I'm seven. I'm generational Pharisee. X. Pharisee. I know how it feels relatives and good friends or loved ones have little cliques. I get it. Church scene or gatherings. Missionary trips. <laughs> really, God, really? But we got to deal with it. But number one, are you doing it? If I feel, if God tells, corrects me, 
I, I repent for having clicked. That's what you need to say. I repent for, you know, rejecting such and such, say their names. The clicks does so much damage. If you're in God's army, I can't believe how big this is. If you're in God's army, okay, and you're on the battlefield, right? What are you going to tell with the other soldiers next to you? Oh, I can't work with you. Oh, I don't want to get near you. I'm in my own little, my little click. I was going to say bubble, not cheese bubble. I'm talking about click bubble. You know, with your, your, with your little posse. You know, or it could just be just you. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Look, you got to be a team player. Every, God gives everyone gifts and talents. Okay? Spiritual gifts, regular gifts, talents, you name it anointing in different areas and you're on the battlefield and you're telling people stay away stay away you know or I can't I can't you're not in my cat you're not in the category that I, I you need to be or you're not like me it's painful I've been through it plenty of times plenty of times and I know you have too and it hurts. It hurts when people, you know, they they talk bad about us or they just, oh, that person, you know, and this and this, you know. It, it, you know, but you got to give that pain to God. You know, think about Jesus. <sighs> Pharisees killing them, clicks. I mean, he knows clicks, right? <laughs> it's like, but God wants us to continue. He's playing with his food. Or look, trying to get to the bottom of, of the hay. He may flick it, the bowl. Hopefully not. Yes, I clean that up too. I clean up everything after him. So, the clicks. Let's get back to it. <clears throat> the clicks on the battlefield. Okay, so picture being on the battlefield. And everyone's in their little clicks. How can you work together as a body of Christ, building up God's kingdom? <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> I need some water. Um, building God's kingdom if you are all working separately. How does that work? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. How can you work together if you're a click and here's a click, here's a click, da da da, and the battlefield? And then Jesus is like, What are y'all doing? Work together. We're all one body of Christ. You know, you are equal. I, you know, He wants the best of all of y'all. And y'all just, No, no. You know what? You're dangerous grounds on that one. That's you. You need to get on the bench and let Holy Spirit deal with you. And we'll do a prayer. If you don't know if you're doing it, that's when you ask God. God, do I do clicks? Do I um, do I uh, reject? You know, push people away because of my insecurities or uh, they're not like me or expectations and et cetera, et cetera. Or you, you're jealous or envy, and then you're like. Oh, you know, I have people that I'm not in their clique anymore, so they join forces. Yay! So Junior has to break off negative vows, while curses, and judgment almost every day. In Jesus' name. That is more work for me. I forgive them, and you need to forgive the humans. So in that way, you can make sure that top layer comes off. When we pray, we get layers off. Okay? If you want to loosen the layer, get it off 100%. You need to forgive the humans yourself. And God at a hundred percent and that's what I do I forgive them you still disagree what they're doing clicks I mean that is not godly Holy Spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentle self-control it's not saying stay in a click you know be little people criticize mock start being like a bully sometimes you know bullying comes in different forms yeah so but we'll work on that another time so let's talk about you I gave you some examples it is up to you to listen to the Holy Spirit to see if your soul and your temple has that sorry dirt and hey I always work with hay before I come up and I did a video with a piece of hay <laughs> horse snot <laughs> I apologize it's life with Cooper if you want me to teach, I want my horse next to me or near me. <laughs> a 
What are some areas and some times that you had clicks and you didn't want to bring people in? I remember the first click. It's like a club. I think it was elementary on the playground. You can't be in this club. Why not? A sensitive person. And, uh, yeah, that hurt. That hurt. Uh, that was elementary. Before sixth grade. I don't know how they do the grades nowadays. So what are some times your soul and temple did not want did not want people in your world or with your posse, your people? You know? Well, that's where your homework is, is to find out. That's your job. I'm here only to coach you and teach you weapons and tools and how to stay connected with God and, you know, the basic tools and weapons. And it's your job to find out when and where with the Holy Spirit because if I was doing one-on-one -on -one session with you we will get down to the root to it but right now I'm out I'm here you're there and you're gonna need the Holy Spirit in between at all times even if I when I do sessions Holy Spirit's in the middle always in the middle he'll tell you things your soul in the temple is not gonna tell you especially if you've been doing it a long time and it's part of your personality and lifestyle it won't tell you mine didn't I had to go to God so you work on that okay this it, it, it does hurt the clicks hurt you know you know sometimes we feel like an outcast we don't feel like some like something wrong with us what's wrong with us god what's wrong with us are we handicapped are we disabled what is it what is it a lot of times those clicks you know i mean they're unhealthy a lot of them i mean if you're in a healthy support system and then there's a lot of like toxic people coming in I understand you want to protect your heart and protect maybe you know the support system but if it's people that really that really do love Jesus and your soul wants to judge them or you know criticize or mock because of base of their background or their spiritual gifts yeah that happened yeah own relatives crazy right that's okay I got Jesus <laughs> maybe I got Jesus. I put bigger. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pray. You ready to pray? I'm only giving you a few gold nuggets. It's up to you to go from the, here, from here on out. Sorry, I was sweating earlier. And yes, I move around. I move around. I just move around. You're just gonna have to keep up with me. Come on. I'm not used to sitting still, unless I'm I'm writing. Or riding a horse bottom coop here we go that's this mask on my hammock thing I'll bring it back okay Let's see more nature <laughs> I feel like I'm joking okay okay so let's work on some areas that you your soul and your temple remember what these two did in the past doesn't define who you are so god when are sometimes i shut people out in my life that were healthy they were healthy they were healthy or at times i was jealous envy and i was competing you know stuff like that too I'm sorry man flashbacks okay so what we're going to do is we're going to pray and get a layer off you but it's up to you now remember when we do these i'm not going to do every single prayer got to forgive the humans yourself god and others at 100 percent. that is a given that is something you need to do every time we do this before i even pray okay because it's hard to put everything in and that's forgiving yourself god and others at 100 percent. that loosens the layer so you need you need to write that stuff down repent release forgive renew the mind do that daily forgive yourself god and others at 100 percent and you tell them, God, I forgive, you know, name for actions, and myself for name actions, and God, because a lot of time our soul and our temple gets upset with God, because God didn't do what we thought he should do at whatever time, and then the soul gets like, I'm upset with you, God. I know a lot of souls that are really upset with God. Throw that in there, because it could be in us subconsciously. You don't even know it's there. All of a sudden, you're upset with God, and you're like, where'd that come from? I was just praising him. These two, got to keep an eye on them. Got to renew it. 
reprogram the mind, the soul, soldier. Okay? Tell your temple to calm down in Jesus' name. Listen to your spirit. And connect to the Holy Spirit. Make sure nothing's in there too. Okay? According to scriptures, there can't be sin in there. So just make sure your desires are pure. Okay? And if not, just repent, release, forgive. And renew the mind. Okay? And that's emotions too. That's how I see it. When I when I pray with people on sessions, they I see the sin or demons, but uh, let's just focus on the, the sins. And then I see the emotions, and I see them up here, uh, if that makes sense. But then I see it around, the, and then where they store it is different parts of their body. And that's how I know what it is and, and where. I don't know everything. I just listen to God cheat sheet. <laughs> okay, so I gave you plenty of time to focus on God. What are some areas that you you were part of a click maybe you're a leader of a click if you if you knew it or not it doesn't matter you still need to repent for that okay because spiritual rules spiritual laws i don't make it up ask god they can still be in your life so if you had a click over the years of jealousy and envy i'm not going to let that person come in the sin of jealousy and envy strife division that that cluster which we talked about at a different time in the video those sins will come in and then what comes after is what demons Christian or not yeah my hair looks like back in the 40s or something those men <laughs> it's been a long day I've been chasing cows for a couple hours okay long story moving on So this, this, you understand, you need to forgive yourself, God, and others. I'm saying it over and over and over. I am not doing it like, oh, I am just don't have anything to say. No, I'm repeating it because you need to get it in here. You need to repent, release, forgive, and renew the mind, soldier. Take every thought captive, all the negative. Keep the positives. Taking it captive. Okay? Scripture, look it up. You can look it in my workbook. I have a workbook. Clients... You know this stuff, right? If not, go back and read your spirit, soul, and temple. The clicks, we need to work on that because the clicks are very, very damaging on the battlefield. Can you imagine? We're all trying to work together and then we're like, no, that person does this or that person has that background or that one does this and I don't, I'm jealous of that one. Okay? Or the enemy, Satan, demons, unclean spirits, etc. They can give you negative ideas, but it's really your fault, your responsibility to say no to it. Okay? Unless you're possessed, and that's another story another time. You know, if you don't have Jesus. If you have Jesus, you have him in your heart as your Savior, and you're listening, don't say, Oh, I, I blame Satan. Satan did that. Okay. If you have Jesus, you're not possessed. Who accepted that negative action or words or thoughts or whatever? Who? Mm -hmm. Submit yourself then to God. Resist the devil. He will flee. Come near to God and he'll come near to you. James 4, 7, 8, 8. Okay, so that's, that's my workbook also. Come near to God. The whole book is based on that. That's a real deliverance. Okay, so let's go. First, you need to do you need to put me on pause and forgive yourself, God, and others at a hundred percent and the what they did. It could be it it could be truth or not, it's whatever the soul's upset about, or it could be the truth, but sometimes our soul some people can come across a different way and the soul gets irritated, so it's okay to put that in there too. I'd rather you have more than less, okay? Okay. And then you unpause me. And then you say, God, I repent all the times I rejected other humans, made them feel unworthy, developing cliques. I repent for my jealousy, envy, strife, division, competitiveness, loneliness, fear of loneliness. I'm looking into it spiritually. I repent and release. Rejection, neglect, abandonment, 
unworthiness, fear of rejection, fear of neglect, fear of abandonment, deep breath, self-rejection, self-neglect, self-abandonment, self-destruction and death, deep breath. Repent for tradition and religion, man-made laws, false doctrines, idolatries, self-preservation, listening to my soul and my flesh instead of my spirit, which is connected to you. I repent for making people feel bad about themselves and rejecting them and making them feel unworthy. Condemning. I repent for condemnation. And I repent for my self-condemnation because of no condemnation through Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. I repent and release guilt and shame. Okay, deep breath. That's important. Those, those all intertwined. Okay, if they're all scattered out. I'm trying to bring them in. I repent and release. Sorry. <laughs> You're like, she's not in the country. I am. I repent and release all expectations and I break them off myself on you God and others I repent and release all frustrations disappointment discouragement anger rage and patience deep breath hidden anger deep breath I repent for pride vanity self-righteousness and ego arrogance narcissism Criticism, mockery, dominance, control, manipulation. Control, manipulation, another video. What else? Belittling. Yeah. And sadness. Grief, sorrow, despair. No, 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 no. You can't have the mic. That's mine. I repent and release. You <laughs> distract me. <laughs> You're not getting the mic. <laughs> I repent and release all the times I rejected humans, you, God, and others. Let's go ahead and just throw it in there. I forgive myself at 100% for, put me on pause, fill in the blanks, what you did your whole life. We're doing your whole life. <laughs> We're like a bubble map. We have different areas. Pick a, Pick one. Or do your whole life. Or whatever the Holy Spirit pops up. That could be the layer. Just knock it out. And I forgive you God for not rescue me. When my soul and my temple wanted you to rescue. Maybe a uh, situation, person, place. And I forgive other humans. That's mine. Um, other humans for... I have no idea how I'm being harassed. I forgive other humans. He's right here. He's right there. For fill in the blanks. I can look at him. You're doing the work. Okay, Dylan. That's enough. That's enough. I'm, I'm slimed. You just slimed me. Cooper slimed me yesterday. You got me today. Okay, okay. okay. Are you done? You got to keep this up. I can't do everything. With the dog in my lap. I repent and release. Try that. All unforgiveness, bitterness, resentfulness, anger, rage, hurt feelings. See, that's where the sadness came in. You did that already. Do it again. Sadness, grief, sorrow, despair. Deep breath. Loneliness, fear of loneliness, depression, suicide. Deep breath. Any of y'all have suicidal thoughts? Repeatedly, please go to a couple. I have, I think, two videos out right now about it because I had a stepbrother that did that, and it's very personal. And uh, but if you don't feel suicide, don't watch it because I'm crying in one of them. Okay, I wasn't prepared, I didn't know I was going to teach that. <laughs> Deep breath, I'm waiting. I think I'm just staring at my horse all the time, which is most of the time true. I repent and release. Deep breath. Having clicks, uh, following man, <clears throat> following man-made laws instead of you, God. I repent for listening to the humans, myself, the enemies instead of you. Just put that in there. Whatever you want, God. I surrender my spirit, soul, and temple. 
help me Holy Spirit daily to have discernment and clarity with my spiritual eyes and ears of when I am rejecting your people especially when they need help very important you never know when people need help never know and you're not going to find out staying in the little click <laughs> I forgive myself at 100% repent release do the self condemnation again self condemnation guilt and shame false responsibility false guilt false shame rescuing and people pleasing okay deep breath so what we did was we clean out one area and we want to make sure you don't go to the other area of rescuing people okay first if, if you have clicks and then then you're like okay and you got to find the middle okay healthy balance if not you can just kind of like oh let me rescue you and then God doesn't may not want that God rescues a lot of people want to be their rescuer God rescues okay and revival I, mean, I tell tell people this all the time revival starts from within okay so don't go around trying to rescue people if God doesn't want it it's not gonna go well it's not gonna the puzzle piece is not gonna fit okay and you can have a detour on that battlefield I guarantee it it needs you need to be led by the Holy Spirit that's when it works okay or if it if it did work and then ill like a puzzle piece you could just cram it in there you get a ha hammer cram it in there chances are it may pop back right it may pop back up or you can see some gaps it's not gonna work so you want it to work only if you're serving with you, know, you need to serve Jesus okay not this not my right arm. <laughs> patience it, this dog does not get out until I get the video this dog is on that porch acting like a hee-haw dog if you remember that show and doesn't move a muscle all of a sudden bam 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 like he knows he's excited about you <laughs> he's not excited about me looking at that sorry I gotta wipe off the snot <sighs> okay I'm dry <laughs> you gotta laugh I gotta put silly in here if I'm going intense and I'm going to spiritual warfare with you and I gotta see some of your demons and, and fight for you and this and that we got to bring some silliness in. And the same thing with you. Because it's going to be a lot. Your soul and temple is in battle right now. If you did those that prayer right now. And you meant it. And you're connected to the Holy Spirit. There's a battle going on. Okay? You got spirit, soul, and temple. It's like three people inside you. But not literally. We're not crazy. We're not. No, no. Okay. <laughs> you have thoughts all day long. Where's it coming from? You got to filter the negative thoughts. Okay? Of other people I have seen so many people rejected by other humans because the background or you know the history um, oh, yeah. flashback I went to a church okay and I brought my friend with me and I haven't gone you know I was a teenager and I was like you know up in college and I'm like hey why don't you go to church with me you know I was still a Pharisee back in the day didn't know it until I read the Bible, I'm like, whoa. And got him. And I took my friend. Okay. I took my friend. And she had, you know, darker skin than me. And they were so rude to her. I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed in front of God. I was traumatized and apologized to her because she wanted to know more about God and Jesus and I took her to a place I had never went to that church before you know and uh, I think you know up in college I think it was on Easter or something I don't know it was some holiday and I, I, I said hey you want to go you know and I wasn't Bible thumping or anything like that I just invited her she went with me and I could not believe that the whole church click when people walk into the church you're responsible sorry you're responsible you're if you're representing God you're responsible to hear the Holy Spirit God you want me to say hi to her or hi to that person I don't care what they look like what are they wearing oh, so, 
yeah, I was just really spiritually embarrassed. That was by, I mean, how can you, how can you undo that? I'm trying to tell her, look, this is not, this is not normal. They don't normally do that back where I'm from. And uh, to this day, I kind of wonder what happened, you know, and, um, you know, she had a lot of what I see spiritually. She had a lot of, you know, problems and calling you like a bully a little bit. And, um, but I saw past that and I, you know, took her in and, you know, hey, you know, this is our God. And it, that was, that was, um, I was a teenager. That was really hurtful. That hurt me. It hurt her, but it hurt me. I'm like, what? What is this? The whole church click. I'm not saying, oh, they're, oh, hi, how you doing? It was just like, hi, oh, you with, with, with her. And I'm like, what is this? Because I grew up, it didn't matter. It didn't matter how white, dark you are. It doesn't matter. I was blown away. What? Okay, I'm back now. And if she's watching to this day, I hope she's doing really good. And I apologize again, again, and again, again, again. <laughs> Does this make sense? I'm giving you examples up to you to listen to Holy Spirit. What is she saying? What is she trying to tell me? What, why is she acting so calm in this area and some pretty deep areas? And yes, this is deep stuff. What do we do? Get deep all the time? No. We're just going to do it gently. Because the Holy Spirit is gentle, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentle, self-control. Okay? Self-control, Dylan. Self-control. Okay. So, did you learn anything? And does it pertain to you? Got to ask them. Okay? So, deep breath. I pronounce you forgiven in Jesus' name. Excuse me. Come on. I'm coming. It's feeding time. Oh, then no wonder they keep coming up to me. You got nine minutes. Come Holy Spirit, fill them up with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. I pronounce them forgiven. I'm ordained minister. I got Jesus in me. Okay, either way, I got Jesus. I pronounce them forgiven now in Jesus' name. All the control, manipulation, traditional religion, false doctrines, everything that has to do with the sins they repented for. Uh, the sin, the demons, mental anguish, and trauma. I bind you, I command you to lose hold of their spirit, soul, and temple now in Jesus' name. Now, in Jesus' name, come Holy Spirit. Give them clarity and wisdom, knowledge, especially if it's in the church or not in the church. It doesn't matter. I'm not focusing on church, but I'm saying we're the body of Christ, and that is the church. But if it's a building, or it's at the house, or it's at some kind of gathering, be nice. Let God help you. Go flow through you. Love on that person. He'll tell you if they're too toxic to accept it or not. There's a lot of hurting people out there. And we're too busy in our own little world that we don't want to mess with. And you know what? If you're serving Jesus, you're in the people business. <laughs> deep breath. Come on. Dude, get five deep breaths. And then you can go back and you redo it. Okay? If not, I gotta redo this whole video. <laughs> we thank you, God, for our friend. We thank you. They will serve you with all their heart. And they will not judge or they'll be judged. Remember the scripture. If you judge, you be judged. If you're condemned, you be condemned. And they will not, in Jesus' name, according to your will, God. And we thank you and praise you and magnify your name, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Deep breath. I can pray and talk at the same time. The spiritual realm is right there and they're waiting. And I'm like, do, 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 do. And they're like, ugh, like, come on. And I'm like, <laughs> I kind of toy with them a little bit spiritually. <laughs> and not you, not you, uh, spiritual stuff. And then, and then I'd like, it's like putting it on pause. Like, see, I gotta, I gotta put things on pause because God can loosen that thing and then we can go up and then see what's next. Right, Coop? I pray over him all the time. Mm -hmm. So, there's reasons why I act a certain way. And also, I'm tired. And, at the end of the day. And, you have a wonderful day. If you are enjoying us, I gotta bring the intense, serious stuff. I mean, hardcore spiritual stuff. With some lightness. Silliness. 
okay? I need to do that. So then your soul, the pressure will come off. If it's getting, I'm going way deep, I'll get you distracted. And then the soul will calm down. And then we're able to go in. And if I feel the soul or the temple's tense enough or whatever, then I'm going to back off. And then I'll say something about the horse and the, and the dog or this and that. It just happens to be perfect timing because I can't control these guys. Remember, other video, control manipulation. Mm -hmm. So... Does that make sense? There's reasons why I do things. And I'm a silly person. And who wants a tense person all the time? How I overthink. I gotta have some lightness. Where do you think the sense, sense of humor comes from God? Uh, my silliness, I think he enjoys that. I think I entertain them up there. <laughs> but God restores our youth, right? I'm in. So you're going to have a wonderful day and you are night wherever you're at. And just know if you're in big writings in God's army. <laughs> oh, what is this little? Um, if you're in God's army, you spiritual realm is really paying attention. The more you grow spiritually, the more they're going to pay attention. The more they're going to try to give you negative ideas. The more they're going to want you to stumble. And you got to be on your A game. I'm not perfect, but I got to stay on my A game. The further I go and seeing the, seeing the spiritual stuff out there, what I see on people as I do this, you can see I, if I'm looking up, I'm seeing spiritual stuff basically, or I'm talking to God while I'm talking to you. And me looking around, I'm just, I got a new camera, so I really, I'm really confused of where to look. I practice, it just doesn't work. I make mistakes. I'm human, right? And God forgives me and I forgive myself. We're going to move on. And I'll let you go. This is a, too long of a video. I may crip, crop it. Until next time, if you're enjoying this and we're entertaining you, because we got to go deep, 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 deep. I say it casual, though, because I'm used to it. But we'll bring some lightness and some fun so then you can breathe, your soul can calm down better. It just calms down. So we go intense. It's intense, and then we go to the light, and then intense, and then light. And that's me distracting you with different things. Eyeballs, that's, that's on me. I don't, I'll figure it out. You just gotta, you just gotta deal with it for now, okay? Please do these prayers, please re do them repeatedly. All these, these videos I have, please go through them again, because if you have this, and for decades or years you need to go back and redo it because you need to learn how to live without that layer that's loosening up coming off you right now i my job is to make it easy and fun he added this the silliness i think i'm having fun i hope you're having fun okay and you're safe here you're safe with us just don't grab the mic or dylan will take it from you <laughs> Until next time. Oh, more information are my clients out there. You got my work. You got my workbook. If you're interested, look on my website. It'll help you clean you up. If not, see you on the next video. Bye. Okay, Dylan. Where did that bone come from? How many deer bones do you have?